across from Robbie Earl. Oh, he met it so well. And Whitmore. Theodore Whitmore. Got absolutely without lead. This is Whitmore. Paul and Gale both available. It's still Whitmore. And it's now 2 0. Blessings football from Yard Massive. Thanks for joining the match review of the Reggae Boys friendly international game against Serbia in Kobe, Japan. The match was originally scheduled to be Jamaica's second game of a three-match tour. However, a series of administrative mishaps led to the cancellation of the opening encounter against the Japanese national team. Against Serbia, Jamaica was able to secure a one-all draw. The Reggae Boys had their moments, particularly in the first half, where they looked a notch above their higher-ranked opposition. Throughout the encounter, the team would play solid defensively and kept Serbia's chances on goal to a minimum. Coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore's starting lineup included Humble Lions FC player Dennis Taylor in goal. In defence, Adrian Marapa occupied the role of sweeper, with Reading FC's captain Liam Moore to his left and debutant Wes Harding of Rotherham to his right. Veteran O'Neill Fisher occupied the right overlapping wingback role, with Amari Bell making his second start for Jamaica on the left. The combination of team captain Damian Lowe and Devon Speedy Williams manned the central midfield slots. This was Lowe's first time playing as a midfielder for the national team. The forward line consisted of the trio of Blair Turgot, Javon East and Andre Gray. The Watford striker Gray occupied the central role with the Swedish based debutant Turgot to his left and Costa Rican based East on the eastern flank. The first half began with both teams playing well defensively but struggling to advance the ball into the final third of the field. Jamaica's forward trio of Turgot, Gray and East were very effective at high pressing the Serbian defenders. As the half went on, the Reggae Boys build up play improved, particularly after the opening goal of the match. In the 29th minute, Blair Turgot found Andre Gray with a through ball that Gray was able to get to a half second prior to the Serbian goalkeeper before slotting the ball into the net. Throughout the half, the entire Jamaican defence looked solid, with Liam Moore being the standout player. The boys resumed the second half with an unchanged lineup, but had a slow start. It was clear that fatigue was beginning to set in for a number of players and the team started defending too deep. The pressure eventually led to a goal for Serbia in the 61st minute with a well-placed strike by Pavlovic. The Reggae boys then settled down with the introduction of Ravel Morrison with 20 minutes to go and held on for the one-all draw. As far as individual ratings are concerned, most of the players can leave the match feeling good about their contribution. Dennis Taylor, the humble lion shot stopper, had a solid performance in goal. Barring one poor play in possession, he had a good showing and didn't look out of place at the international level. Due to the effectiveness of the defence, he really wasn't tested all that much, but he clearly didn't harm his chances of a spot in the Gold Cup squad. He gets a rating of 7. Adrian Mariapa was solid all game, marshalling the central defence, making a number of timely interceptions and transitioning the team from defence to attack. At this stage of his career, he's clearly much more effective in the centre of the park than he is at right back. He gets an 8 for his showing. Liam Moore was dominant on the day. The Serbian attackers were unable to get past him and he won the majority of his aerial duels. His passing was good and he supported his teammates well in possession with his movement off the ball. Moore has made a strong case for starting position heading into this summer's Gold Cup. He gets a 9. Wes Harding, the Rotherham defender, gave a solid account of himself. He combined well with O'Neill Fisher on the right side and made a number of timely interceptions. Barring one moment of exuberance, he was solid in possession. Harding seems best suited as a right side defender in a three-man back line or a stay-at-home right back in a four defender setup. He gets an eight on the day. Amari Bell was solid for the majority of the game and generally played within himself. However, as was the case in the USA game, he got caught in possession on a couple of occasions when the Serbians pressed him. Bell seems to be at his best when he plays a safe and simple game. Bell offers a solid backup to Kemar Taxa Lawrence. His rating for the game is a 6. O'Neill Fisher got off to a slow start with some turnovers early in the game, but then improved substantially as the game went on. He provided excellent support to his teammates while getting up and down the right flank. As a result of his movement, the team's combination play on the right side of the field was generally more fluid than that of the left. He would get a 7. Damien Lowe had a very good midfield debut. Despite going up against midfielders from Europe's elite leagues, he caused a lot of problems for the Serbians, disrupting numerous attacks and launching a number of counter-attacks. 
It was probably the first time since Rudolph Austin retired that the Reggae Boys have had a midfielder winning so many tackles in the middle of the park. With that said, he's still raw in that position and has some way to go in terms of improving his positioning and mobility in the role. Given the abundance of defenders in the team and the team's lack of defensive midfielders, Lowe gave Coach Whitmore reason to think about him in the midfield. He gets an 8. Devon Williams improved as the game went on, was fairly solid in possession and had a couple timely runs into the attacking third. On the defensive side, he was probably a half step off the pace of the Serbians and can be a little bit passive in possession. Williams though is a solid squad member, but will need the right complementary pieces to be effective for Jamaica against the top teams in CONCACAF. He gets a 6 for his showing. Javon East ran hard on the right side all game on both the defensive and attacking end. The former Portmore United player did a lot of running in the channels and was an effective outlet for his teammates. He could be a bit cleaner in possession, but like Turgot on the left, the Serbian players were clearly uncomfortable with his pace. He gets a 7. Blair Turgot provided a lot of excitement on debut. He's a type of direct winger that Jamaican fans tend to appreciate. His pace and trickery caused a lot of problems for the Serbians. As he was responsible for the assist that led to Andre Gray's goal, along with a host of other dangerous attacks. His high pressing, in combination with Gray and East, consistently troubled the Serbian backline. There is room for improvement with his decision making, but he definitely made a strong case for his inclusion going forward. He gets an 8. As was the case against the USA, Andre Gray's effective hold up play and running off the ball was on full display. His efforts paid off in the first half when he out-hustled the Serbian goalkeeper to get on the end of a pass to give Jamaica the lead. With his assist against the USA and now a goal against Serbia, Gray is a lock for the Gold Cup squad and is putting Shamar Nicholson on notice that he is going to compete for a spot in the starting lineup. The goal scorer gets a rating of 8. As for the substitutes, Ravel Morrison he has not put a foot wrong since joining the Jamaican team. Morrison, who has been without the club this year, brought a higher level of technical ability and fresh legs. He marshalled the midfield and looked as if he could start for the Serbian team. Coach Whitmore must be excited about the prospects of Morrison leading the team during the Gold Cup and World Cup qualifiers. He gets an 8 for his 20 minute cameo. Kemal Malcolm had a difficult time adjusting to a higher level of play. The El Salvador based speedster needs to be clean on the ball and make quicker decisions on the ball if he wants to stay in a national team. Malcolm gets a 4. Curtis Tilt came on as a sub in a makeshift central midfield role as Coach Whitmore tried to protect the one-all scoreline. He really didn't have enough time to stamp his authority in the game and he gets a 5. Kevin Lambert only had a few moments on the ball in his short stint. He didn't make much of an impression making a few simple passes and then turning over the ball on another occasion. He also gets a 5. All in all, Coach Theodore Whitmore should be pleased with what he saw and with the result especially given the last minute travel and the player withdrawals. A number of the players are pressing their way into the squad and for the first in a long time there is competition at most positions. Next up for the Reggae Boys is a game against the Japan Under 23 Olympic team in Nagoya on June 12th. That's it for now, respect and talk to you next time. Robbie Oh, he met it so well. And Whitmore! Theodore Whitmore. Got absolutely without leave. This is Whitmore. Paul and Gale both available. It's still Whitmore. And it's now 2 0.